All right, so this is going to be a redo here or a retread of the Mountain Timber Market uh, come summertime. So this is approximately a couple months from when we were here last time. Uh, it was definitively still wintertime and now we've opened up towards uh, spring, almost summertime, and you get, you're going to actually get to see the difference in just a little bit of time makes here and a little bit of a season change when it comes to the Mountain Timber Market. All right, here we are. So we finally made it to the Mountain Timber Market. Here it is. We are right outside. And look at all of the vendors here. Looks like this is ice cream. I could use some ice cream, actually. And then barbecue, beer, yeah. Look at all these other vendors. Okay, I would like ice cream. I, could, I couldn't use ice cream. Anything but use ice cream. All right, definitely a day for some ice cream over here at the Mountain Timber Market. And here are some of the vendors outside here as we are revisiting the Mountain Timber Market here in Kalama, Washington. All right, so here's another example of what these vendors look like from the outside. And it's very advantageous to have your storefront open up right here where these doors just roll up right here and you've got access to the outside and the beautiful riverfront area. Can you imagine coming from the McMenamins Hotel down there and if you wanted to change it up and you didn't want that view outside of the restaurant, having your cup of coffee in the morning, what about walking over here to the Mountain Timber Market and getting this view right here. Look at the tables right out there, getting your cup of coffee and enjoying the view over here. And speaking of over here, I did not notice so many people who uh, are treating this little part of the Columbia River like a little beachfront, which it really is. You've got some sandy beaches here. They're definitely not white sand, but they're definitely beaches. And you could tell quite a few people set up all along here. Quite a few people. All right, Mountain Timber Market from when we entered last time, just a little bit different. But as you can see right here, a couple of the shops here are empty. You've got this shop right here. You've got bathrooms and a water fill station right there. All right, so here is our revisit of Kalama. And uh, you're gonna see parts of this video where I keep saying Kalama, no, no, Kalama. Was told that by a local. We are definitely not local from Kalama but uh, definitely you want to make sure you say it right, Kalama. And uh, we are here visiting, revisiting the Mountain Timber Market, uh, getting to show you a little bit more of their businesses and their small shops that are filling up the Mountain Timber Market here in Kalama. So you've got an art shop and chocolates right here. Got a little area right here. Looks like they've got jams right along there. A little market right along there. A little place for wine right along here. Sorry about it being blown out. We've got these doors that open up the outside, which is really neat. Another art gallery right next to it. Area for plants. And then you've got another business right there. And then that coffee shop that was right outside. So the art gallery is right over there. We're not gonna get too much of it because that is their art. And we want to make sure we respect their art. Look at these beautiful plants right along here. A little floral shop right here. Beautiful light set up, along with the natural light of the market. So here you have that outside area, that entrance or exit to the outside with the, the food, where you saw the berry and the ice cream. Looks like that is a bloom cake studio, cakes and cupcakes. Again, there's that shop that had the view from the outside with the roll-up doors, that coffee shop. And then over here, you've got wine and alcohol tasting right there. 
So when we were here last time, that second story, it houses this right there, a totem pole. So you take elevator or the stairs, go up there. And you've got all of these office buildings right there with this phenomenal, gigantic totem pole right there. But the second story is mainly just office areas and spaces for rent. So if you did want to gather, you can definitely use those areas up there to do so. All right, so take a look right up there. There's a TV right over top of the totem pole here. And if you go up to the second level, you can actually get a little bit of brief history on how they got this totem pole inside here. Obviously, you can see there are doors here that roll up, but they literally had rolled it in. How neat is that? But go up second level, get your history of a little bit of the mountain timber market. Here's another little look at that business right here. They've even got gelatos and slushies and Campari. And to give you an idea, that's where we actually walked in at originally. All right, so how cool is this where you've got these shops right here? So this is obviously a business that is occupied right here. But here is an unoccupied spot. So you've got an outside entrance, the inside entrance right here with the gates, but all of them have these roll up doors where if you wanted to, you could have your doors open to the outside. How cool is that? They do have AC in here. It is super nice and comfortable, nice and cool, but uh, really neat. All right, so I totally missed this when I walked in here, but the Chinook shop, take a look at that. Chinook shop created out of the partnership between Klama School District and the Port of Klama. Proud to offer student created and developed products for our CTE programs at Kalama High School. How neat is that? It's awesome. All right, so there you have it. We've seen more of the mountain timber market here at Kalama, Kalama, Washington, but the mountain timber market, definitely a lot more to see, a lot more to explore and depending on when you go, a lot busier. So definitely come check out the Mountain Timber Market here in Kalama, Washington. And uh, you know what to do. If you found this video helpful, if you found it somewhat entertaining, please hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps out our channel. And until next time, thanks for watching. Bye for now. Look at this, you just wave, door open.